So we'll start with where are we today? Where are we in terms of cyber threats? Generally within, um, within a couple of minutes, you've got your cyber intruders are inside your system. Quite simply, a third of all the people within a practice or any organization will open an email from an attacker. They just, uh, you do it unthinkingly, uh, you, you're working, you're very busy, and email comes in, looks legitimate, so you just click on it. Now at that point, 10% of those people will then click on a link or an attachment that are contained within the email, and there you go, your your cyber, cyber, inv- cyber intruder is now within the organization. $790 billion in, uh, in losses caused through cyber attacks in 2018. What actually is cybercrime? Cybercrime is in essence just criminal activity. It involves the internet, a computer system, and some form of computer technology. Now, where it really comes into its own is, as you can see, 93% of all the money in the world is digital. So if it's digital, it's very, very easy to steal. Now we've got to make sure that our content is kept secure and our confidential information is not accidentally leaked. What you do there is you have a set of policies or rules that allow certain people to open documents and not others. Your documents are encrypted and you allow certain information to leave the firm, but not other information. And this all comes down to policy. And Microsoft have a range of applications that will actually do this for you. So you set up the rules and then the applications take care of it. If your identity is stolen, this is the um, this is what you should be doing straight away. Tell your employer that the, the identity is stolen so that the passwords can be changed and the applications can be locked down and that your IT people can look at uh, any suspicious activity. Inform the police. Depends on where you are in the situation as to as to what you should do there. That's something that you and the firm have to decide as part of your cybersecurity policy. Always alert the bank if it involves a bank transaction because uh, once you've locked that account down, then any fraudulent transactions from that point on won't be your responsibility and you won't be liable for them. Mm-hmm.